This playthrough is rated T for teen. How embarrassing. Who could have imagined a perfect being fighting with another as a crutch? I don't know. Have you met Sherry, Sherry po Mary Poppins? She's the perfect being. And here I sit, a lowly spectator in all this. Excuse me if I don't seem to be super thrilled about it. Man. It's it's hard it's hard to it's hard to like a guy with such like massive arrogance in him. That's probably why some people still like uh, Frieza the villain more than Cell. Once I find the person responsible for this mess, I believe a heartfelt thank you is going to be in order. Thank you. Okay. I guarantee they'll regret ever having an enemy out of me. Uh, you are very vindictive. You remind me of the uh, dwarves Warhammer. Do you happen to have any knowledge of martial arts? Uh, does watching, like, Jackie Chan movies count? You've come this far. Surely you must have some experience fighting. Uh, nope. I didn't even take Taekwondo. That was more of my younger brother. He kind of took that. I don't even know if he still knows how to do that. Probably does. I mean, it's one of those things you don't forget easily. There is no doubt. My body is pure perfection. But wielding it is another matter. I don't know if I really find bug-like parts and antenna and stingers really to be perfection, but, you know, que sera, sera. I'm curious, and I'm not sure if it's because of the link. Perhaps it's your own talent that has piqued my interest. Uh, I don't really have much talent, dude. Man, I look forward to the opportunity of unraveling the secret of your strength. Well, uh, people say the same thing about any main character from any shonen anime, really. Because it's just unreal. It's just like, what, how can he, what? That doesn't make sense. Whatever you do, human, I will be watching very closely. Ugh, I don't want to be watched with those bug-like eyes. Gross, get away from me. Ugh, sick. Though I know not how I I will say it is an unbelievable joy. Hi. Yeah, you're like one of the few like villains that doesn't get brought back in any form of media, mainly because it's hard enough to draw your spots, at least in the drawn medium. Although you do make appearances in like some of the spin-off games and stuff like that. Finally, Goku and his vile spawn are here. Now is the perfect time for me to exact my revenge on them both. Man, so vindictive. Where's your grudge book? You might as well start having those if you're gonna do that. In our last encounter, I was somewhat careless. Now on, I will not repeat the same folly. Man, you did get arrogant like any villain or main character does when they get so much power at once. Then you pissed off Gohan and beat the crap out of you. And then you got that power and you almost killed Gohan, but then everyone smacked you up a bit and weakened you just enough for Gohan to finish you off. And boom, dead cell. But first I must destroy this fool behind this link fiasco. Then we can take care of what's next. You, you mean Android 21? But yeah, we, we took care of her, but uh, this is all in hindsight, I guess. You human, if you want any chance of success, you're going to have to do better. Double your efforts. All right, maybe I'll actually do some combos or special moves to fill, finish off dudes, okay? And make no mistakes for your own sake. Yeah, I can't guarantee that, man. Though I was never actually assigned a number, I too technically am an android. Aren't you, aren't you technically Android 21 when you really think about it? Dr. Jarreau was responsible for creating me. In addition to his other androids, 17 and 18. Well, actually, he had 16 other, or, well, and, and 15 others other than that. So he's actually had those androids. Although, if I don't think they were ever actually shown. I think there's, like, a, some wiki online to show, like, what might be possibly the other numbers of androids of Dr. Jiro, but... And, of course, there's the movie, Super Android 13 or whatever, with this trucker hat. Yeah, trucker hat. Although those two appear to despise the Doctor, I, on the other hand, do not share their hatred. Um, I, I, I assume you don't really love the Doctor, though. Well, it's be I think it's because the Doctor Row did a different, like, 
experiment on those two. Like he basically took two orphans from nowhere and then turned them into cybernetic en enhanced humans. You know, and, and they were rebellious teens from what. Although you don't really get that. Well, maybe you do get that from the show, but you have to read some like extra extended content that you have to find like in guides to know more about it. Kind of like Star Wars, where there's just like a whole encyclopedia of stuff you don't even know about. But make no mistake. That is not to say I like Jero. On the contrary, I don't care at all. Gratitude or otherwise. So you're about middle of the way. You're like a meh. I'm well aware that he made me for his own purposes. However, like it or not, I have my own. What are your own purposes anyway? Just to become the best fighter or rule the world or... I have no idea. I found he was weak anyway. And who could possibly respect that? Well, he was stronger than any human when he was in the android body, but, you know, Dragon Ball, uh, the next arc, you're the weakest character after that, you know? And I think you'll agree with me, won't you? Uh, sure, dude, whatever. As long as I'll get you to stop talking for a sec. I would surmise that this Link is most likely also one of the late Doctor's inventions. Yep, sure. Actually, doesn't the first, uh, doesn't the Super Warrior arc mention that it's one of his inventions, or was it this arc? Who else would think of hijacking the bodies of all the strong fighters? It's exactly the kind of thing he come up with. Well, maybe he would have, but uh, this was written, this story was kind of more written by other people, more fans of the show than anything, arc work system or whatever. Although, I'm not fully convinced that this is the answer, considering while he was alive. Ah, rec the idea of retconning and trying to figure out why people didn't use it at the time when it gets used later on. It's always a hard thing to do for writers. And most don't do it very well. They're usually pretty lazy about it. It can only be two possibilities. It must have either been horribly flawed or it was simply impractical. Yeah, sure. We'll go with either one of those. Above all, you are still able to overcome and master. That in itself is a true testament to your talents. It's because I have main character Itis. Oh, I will be honest. Your cells will be the most average in my body. Dude, don't look at me like that. I'm not into men, I'm not into bug men, so you can you can lay off there, dude. Actually, you don't have a stake in this fight. So why would you waste any of your time seeking strength that you don't need? Uh, well, I don't technically want to, but I kind of want to go back to my own body, though. The reason I see it is to prove all warriors are destined to fall before Cell. Well, you died, so you were only able to fight the Z-Fire, so who knows what you would have done, uh, how you would have fared if you were in the Universal Survival Arc. That's, that'd be an interesting story to tell. Of course, Goku and his wretched offspring will die. However, Frieza and that Majin Buu creature are not exempt either. Well, they would be both tough for you, especially since at this point they've far exceeded your power level at this point. Especially Buu, but not, not just because of anything other than the ability he has high regeneration. Probably faster than you, so that'd be annoying. Should you continue down this path, eventually find yourself with the inevitable task of contending with me. Dude, I'm an Earthling. We have we have a peak in this series. We're not like Saiyans where we have infinite potential. Though, fret not. I plan to dismantle you quite swiftly. And uh, fail. Uh, thanks for that, I think. I'd wager, thanks to our battles, you have managed to increase your strength significantly. Well, by the end of the game, I think I hit like a little 85. That's pretty good. I would relish a match and a chance to show you mortals true strength. I will be ready after you return to your own body. Dude, you beat me single-handedly. I don't know any crazy tactics or abilities or, or techniques. There is no denying that I fight for the title of the strongest. This is a fact, but it is the fight itself that enthralls me. 
Well, that's the Saiyan cells in your body, dude. I can see in you a warrior much like Goku. There's potential. Perhaps if you continue to train, you might even surpass it. Yeah, no, that ain't happening. In real life, I would stop training almost immediately after after this uh, case. I would just let Goku take care of it because he's the main character. So uh, These talks have been interesting, Mr. Cell, Mr. Perfect Cell, Mr. Mr. Bugman with Bugman meat or whatever it is, but uh, I think your hoity or uh, haughtiness or arrogance or whatever you want to call it is uh, is not too appealing. Definitely would not be friends with you in real life. <laughs> the potential is there. I look forward to the day you unlock it. I mean, I guess it's interesting that a villain like him would see that I have potential, but uh, you're gonna be disappointed, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go hang with that captain fella. Maybe he's a little bit more fun to hang out with.